Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Blue Lock. Picking up with the new chapter 256. Read between the lines. Between the lines. The subtext of the subtext. Yeah. Real shit. <laughs> A very funny title. Um. Yeah, let's just go. And I wonder how quickly we'll find out if my assumptions from last week um, that I gave at the end were correct or not. Anyway, let's just go. <clears throat> with Kunigami limiting Shido's movements, the game enters a stalemate, with several 1 vs 1 matchups emerging to risk control of the match. Win your matchup and take control of this match. Get it, Kira! Uh, keep it up, Karasu! Bam, clash. That's a kind of kick-ass uh, visual there, actually, with the sparking in the middle. If I'm gonna defeat Charles... I take full advantage of when Kunigami Kun is restricting Shido's movements. Charles is itching to pass to Shido, but if the pass through to Shido gets crushed, he's got no choice but to use other options. Yeah, other options like Rin, who I I I would be I don't think you're gonna be able to beat or outthink, but hey, we'll see. Most likely, it's either gonna be to Rin Kun or Nanase Kun as a conduit. No, you idiot. That kind of orthodox thinking won't help me beat him. I'm facing an imp. Defeat him. I had to read between the lines. Between the lines. Roll credits. No, anyway. Between the lines. Oh my, a third layer. Oh my god. One, two. All right, mission complete. Go, Mr. Extraordinary. <laughs> nice, Karasu. C'est bon. Come on, Ness. The past in 99. I'm here, Kaiser. We'll destroy it. Oh my, you sh annoying shitty rose duo. Oh, Itoshi Rin. Nice follow. Psych! Ooh, this guy. Yeah, even though we destroyed 99% of his past roots, I still went for it. Of course I'm gonna aim for it. This is what of them does. Between the lines. Huh? Iori. I'm starting to figure you out, Imp. Instead of going for straightforward passes, you love to attempt those annoying passes that no one in their right mind would attempt. You, you're gonna go down, you, la you damn last boss. Eh? Gross. Yeah. You're already starting to figure him out. The flow's about to shift. Let's go, egoist. Hey, you two! Let me join the fun, too! Physical made that showdown! Ultra sexy pass! <clears throat> Hold on. I to recover after that. That's not what my voice is designed to do. Go, yeah, you goddamn ultra sadist! But don't eat. You should pay more attention to what's in front of you, shitty gamer. <laughs> Try and clear this level. Don't let him face forward! Okay, let's trap him. I don't even need to look forward to get past you three bums. Uh, I'll smash right past you all. No look, Alley Cross! He sucks pus! <laughs> what? Seriously, from this distance! This is my top performance. You're there, aren't you? Egoist! Yeah. Let's do this. Top performance combo! Iori begins to figure out Charles' tendencies and blocks Charles' pass. As Iori's golden pass sails toward the PXG goal, it's time to show the world your top performance and smash the ball into the back of the net. To be continued in chapter 257. Two gun. Alright, that was a pretty cool chapter actually, all around. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff happened. Really hype. Yori actually pulling out shit, you know? Given that he was, like, basically irrelevant all the way up until, um, the Neo Egoist League, he's actually been, like, really good. Which is surprising, because we've basically not seen him do, like, anything, really. 
So yeah, this is really cool to see. Uh, the hero is crazy good. Being on the same wavelength of Isa as Isagi is really kind of what helps him be as good as he is, I think, because he's, you know, not necessarily riding Isagi's coattails, but they synergize so well, and because they've got a good combi, um, it really just <clears throat> elevates their le individual levels to a higher p point. As for Charles, I think he's gonna not... I wonder if he's actually gonna take... He's gonna bite and, you know, challenge Hiyori more by doing ridiculous passes that are just absurd to see if Hiyori can read them. And if that, and if all else fails, you know, he, he just can't get past Hiyori with doing what he wants to do, he'll probably do, like, a really, really obvious pass to Rin that wouldn't be, like, the you know, the insane, crazy, challenging pass, and that'll probably lead to a goal of some vernacular, I presume. That's one thing I didn't think about last week, was if Rin's gonna score an individual goal. I think he, he might, what I'm thinking, okay, so to further on from what I thought last week, I think there's definitely gonna be a three-way, um, chemical reaction between Shido, Charles, and Rin, but I think that effort might get thwarted, right? If you, if you ask me, I think that effort might get thwarted entirely. Rin will score individually, I think, but I do believe that this game is probably going to go to Bowser Mushin with um, a Kunigami, Isagi, Hiyori three-way, but I don't think that's going to be the only try chemical reaction that scores goals, but it's, it's the obvious one. It's probably going to be the one that scores them the first one. But yes, those are my thoughts on how things are going to go forward. Let me know if you think I'm wrong in the comments. And with that, the way, I've been Mossy, you've been you, and I'll be you next time for another video. Ta-ta-ta. Bye now.